Good day guys, thanks for visiting Richard's Corner. My name is Richard and this is a unique haul reveal because I've got uh, items from my friends over at the uh, thrift store. I've also got uh, an item from the Facebook marketplace as well as Value Village. So mixing it up a little bit in this reveal um, and I'm just really excited about what I found uh, out about uh, the big uh, guy in this package as well as uh, these awesome DVDs and Blu-ray that I picked up. Well, let's start with the movies because they're always more straightforward and then we'll get to the more obscure package uh, in a moment. So as you can see I've got some awesome DVDs starting with It's a Wonderful Life which is very very uh, appropriate since we're closing in on Christmas here. Frank Capra's It's a Wonderful Life. This is the original uncut version. I picked this up at the thrift store for a whole $2.99, which is pretty awesome. Hi, I can see myself there. Um, so um, it has a, a making of uh, insert as well as this really, really adorable uh, bell uh, thing. Uh, uh, sorry, bell ornament. Uh, it basically says that every time you hear a bell ring, an angel gets its wings. And that's a, an iconic line in the movie. Uh, because uh, the main character, played by James Stewart, is approached by an angel who hasn't had his wings yet, and he does um, his character a favor. But uh, this movie is originally a 1946 classic fantasy comedy drama. A James Stewart character goes through uh, all kinds of trials and tribulations and, uh, and still ends up... Um, uh, saying that it is a wonderful life, that he's very blessed with his wife and kids, and but he goes through a lot of heartache and a lot of hardship, and, and it's actually quite heartbreaking to see the, all the kinds of things that he has to go through uh, to make ends meet, to meet, uh, to meet the obligations that he's had to go through. Uh, really, really heartwarming film, though. The way it ends is just amazing. So um, a really good classic film. Uh, on Amazon, you can still find this uh, particular silver screen edition uh, for about $20, not including any kind of shipping. Uh, but um, I'm lucky to find this for $3. I think I walked out ahead as far as the amount paid versus the value online, uh, but uh, definitely a good thrift store win right there. Also from the same thrift store, I found this edition of Die Another Day, originally from HMV. This is still sealed. I couldn't believe this. I was like, whoa, I'm not leaving this on the shelf. And I double checked to see whether or not this was being sold at a premium at the thrift store. And they said, no, it's just another DVD to them. It's also $2.99. Uh, and I was just really, really happy to find it. Die Another Day is one of my favorite James Bond movies. Pierce Bronson is another James Bond. Uh, for me, I grew up uh, watching Roger Moore. And then when Pierce Bronson uh, stepped into the role as James Bond, I was very excited at the time because he, I had seen him on Remington Steel in the 80s and 90s. And to see him play a, a classic a, a spy as, James, as iconic as James Bond really made me excited. Uh, Halle Berry also stars in this film. They make an awesome duo. The chemistry on screen is really cool. And uh, th this is just a great, great story. So according to the wiki, this was a 2002 movie. And for Pierce Bronson, who is one of my favorite James Bonds, this was actually his fourth and final film uh, as the famous MI6 agent. So very fortunate to find this special edition uh, still sealed. Uh, when I went onto Amazon, just to sort of see what kind of value this had, there was actually one listing on on Amazon, not even on eBay, on Amazon for $45. Um, as you can see, the original price on uh, HMV was uh, $26.99. Uh, HMV was one of the record stores here in Winnipeg, and it's since closed down, uh, replaced by Sun, Sunrise Records, I believe. Uh, anyway, and I think if they are still selling this, it would probably be about $30 as well. But $45 online, guys. I mean, $2.99, you really cannot go wrong. And uh, I would love to just watch this again and actually check out the special features. Seven hours worth of special features. That's pretty good find for three, uh, $3, I think. Now, picking up this Blu-ray was kind of on a whim. Uh, actually, the nice lady on Facebook Marketplace was actually selling Spider-Man Homecoming uh, as well. But uh, before I, I had the money enough to pick this up from her today, um, she had already sold Spider-Man, which is too bad. But I got this for a whole $10, guys. Um, it usually comes with the Blu-ray and DVD, but she kept the DVD for herself, but she did not use the digital code. So I'm really excited to have an awesome Blu-ray edition of this uh, movie. So um, this is the third movie in the Planet of the Apes reboot series. Uh, it started in 2011 with Rise of the Planet of the Apes, followed by uh, 2014 movie Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. So this is the war for the Planet of the Apes, and the main character, Caesar, here is played by Andy Serkis, 
who, if the name should ring a bell, he actually plays uh, Snoke in um, the new Star Wars movies, in Force Awakens and now The Last Jedi. He also is Gollum in the Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy. So a very versatile actor, an awesome character actor, and uh, I just I can't wait to watch this. Um, we also have Woody Harrelson in here as one of the main uh, actors, as well as... Um, Sorry, uh, as well as Steve Zahn. Uh, so this is a really, really, really awesome uh, find. Uh, she sold it to me for a whole ten dollars. Uh, it sounds like a little bit. It's a little bit high for um, buying something thrifty when I'm used to buying discs for three or five dollars each. But uh, in stores on Amazon, you're still finding this particular uh, version for at least thirty dollars. So uh, even this is a Walmart uh, brand, you can probably still find it for between twenty-five and twenty-seven dollars. So I mean, getting it for ten dollars and basically getting it a half off it's basically brand new because she doesn't have a blu-ray player so i walked out way ahead on this very very much looking forward to uh, checking this movie out so we've got this uh, little uh, package from value village here with this really gigantic what it appears to be a mighty ducks figure and um, when i looked into him a little bit more i was very excited uh, to find something out about him so let's get them all out here so I've got it open, laid out, and let's start off with the obvious here. So we have Melnick again from um, the Madagascar movies. Uh, I've actually revealed this particular um, character or this version of the character uh, in a previous haul. I uh, expect to see him on my Overflow Marketplace. Very, very cute uh, with uh, his like sprawled out uh, stance there. Uh, it does stand fairly well as a character, but I already have one. So expect to see this on the Overflow Marketplace very soon. Now this particular Spider-Man I can't identify because it's obviously part of another toy. As a character himself though, look at in the light, you can just sort of see awesome muscle detail, really, really nice shiny paint scheme, very classic spider on the back there. So it's very reminiscent of the, vo the old um, original Spider-Man animated series. Uh, which really speaks to me because that was my before school entertainment on TV. But uh, I, I love the, uh, it's, it, it's usually a blue and red, but I love this black and red version of him. So I have no idea whether this is part of a top or part of some sort of mobile or something. Um, my intention with this is to make it a display figure. Uh, I'm just going to saw this off. You know, I'm just going to remove the stubs here because without the original toy, I won't, I won't be able to display it properly because it obviously doesn't stand. But if I can get these off and it shouldn't take too much effort, it's going to make an awesome, awesome display piece. Look at that. So I'm really happy to find it. Now, this guy <laughs> is gigantic. <laughs> um, he's a good six inch, six, seven inch, fi inch figure, and it's from the Mighty Ducks animated show. So, if you don't know um, who this is, his name is Grin. <laughs> uh, his, whole, his whole name is actually Czech Grin Hardwing. Uh, so he's obviously a defenseman on, on the Mighty Ducks animated series. Now, the last episode of the uh, Mighty Ducks uh, series was way back in the fall of 96. There were 26 episodes in total, according to Wiki. And um, so it was a syndicated show and uh, on the Disney afternoon, it was called. Um, it was removed from, um, from being repeated way back in 2004. So it's been a while since these guys have appeared anywhere. And this obscure figure uh, happens to be the Puck Zuka grin action figure from back from 1996 so this is quite vintage and really really awesome like just really unique and obscure there i love how gigantic this guy is very hulk like muscles here love the the little tattoo on the side of his arm there look at this back um i love the oversized body versus the nice you know legs there um really good uh, definition there as for or detailing there with knee pads and the boots and this awesome awesome Puckzuka weapon <laughs> that's in his in his uh, in his hands here. It, it stands well, but uh, because there's no articulation outside of his shoulders and his waist here, uh, and his no, not even in his head. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, he can't really hold the weapon properly. I'm not sure if it's supposed to fire this way or fire that way. It looks like it fires this way because that's how he holds it. But regardless, it's very very cool and uh, very unique. I've I've never owned a Mighty Ducks figure before. Um, when I looked on eBay to see whether or not this was a sought-after figure, because it's uh, 1996, sorry, because it's 1996, um, and in package, uh, one of the character, one of the listings I saw, uh, somebody was trying to sell it for $76 Canadian. 
<laughs> I find that really funny because the package that this was contained therein cost me a whole $3.99. <laughs> so $4 for three figures, it works out to be a little bit more than a dollar a figure. And um, obviously I walked out way ahead getting Puckzuka Grin here. But um, this isn't going to leave my collection anytime soon. I, I, I love seeing... I, I don't expect to see any kind of return on this if I did sell this later. But um, like just the, the thought of it, I mean, like paying $80 for this uh, outside of, you know, paying just over a dollar for it in a, in a package, a random package from Value Village, I think uh, this is why I, I enjoy the hunt so much. So look at that expression. He just looks so cool. Love that square jaw. Love the paint job. Um, I, I wish he had a little bit more articulation, but the toys back in the 90s, they didn't really have much. And it was it was more uh, for show. And, and, and you just sort of accepted that this is just how you play with it, right? So really, really going to be a very cool, unique uh, figure for my display. Absolutely. So this is Richard from Richard's Corner signing off for this video. I hope you enjoyed the reveal, nice and short and sweet, with uh, just a few quality items uh, from my thrift store friends here. Again, from uh, the, the Salvation Army thrift store back here, from the Facebook Marketplace as well as Value Village. Uh, links to all of these places are included in the description below. I would encourage you to check them out so that you can be inspired to find your own thrifty finds everywhere, online, um, although I've been citing prices online, uh, there are lots of online forums where you can find things for thrifty prices. So I would encourage you to check them out and just find some really, really cool things to add to your own thrifty collection. So this is Richard signing off for now. I wish you happy hunting and happy collecting. I hope that all of your thrifty finds, whether they're from my overflow marketplace or anywhere else in the thrift, in the thrift store scene, pardon me, uh, I hope your finds are equally awesome. Please stay tuned for another video. Hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, stay in touch with me so you know what is new at Richard's Corner. Thanks again for visiting, and we will see you next time.